module customization in Zoha Recruit. Now, every module within Zoha Recruit has its own layout depending on the type of information that you save in there. For example, whenever I go to create a job opening, I can see the relevant fields for the job openings module. So to customize this layout for each and every module, you can navigate to setup on the right top corner, select modules within customization, and then you can go ahead and select the module that you would like to customize. Once you've selected the module, on the right panel of the screen, you can see the backend layout of the module. And on the left panel of the screen, you can see the different types of fields that you can potentially place. Now, the field type itself depends on the type of information that you're going to save in there, whether it is text. And if it is text, do you want a drop down or a multi select drop down? Or do you want a date or a date time based field? Or do you need a number based field such as currency or long integer? Or do you need a decimal based field or any other unique fields such as lookup or formula or tabular? Now, to create a new field, all that you have to do is depending on the type of field that you require, click on it, drag it and drop it onto the layout. And then you can go ahead and edit the properties of the field. You can also choose to reorder the fields by dragging them and dropping them. You can create various sections within the module by dragging and dropping the new section option from the left panel of the screen. Now, when we talk about unique fields such as lookup and tabular, the lookup field is used to link two different records together. For example, whenever I try to create a new job opening within Zoho Recruit, I link the job opening to the respective department using the department name lookup field on the job openings module. So once the job opening is created, it links the respective department with the job opening or vice versa. And once we have a field place, we can then go ahead Click on the gear icon next to the field and then we have the option where we can mark it as required. So when we mark a specific field as required, it becomes a mandatory field that has to be filled in whenever the record is going to be created or edited. And then when we click on set permission, we can set permissions for various profiles in terms of whether a particular user within the profile can read and write that particular field or whether the values in that particular field are read only or whether you would like to hide that field altogether. And finally, if it is a drop down field, you can edit properties where you can go ahead and add additional drop down options by clicking on the plus icon. Or if you need to edit a couple of drop down options, you can go ahead and click on the negative icon. You can then click on add options in bulk and choose to add additional options of the drop down either from a list of predefined choices available within Zoho Recruit or you can add multiple options together by listing them out within this section. Once you're done, you can then go ahead and select a default value as well. The purpose of the default value is that whenever a new record is being created, the selected default value will be embedded onto the field. And if no changes are made, that will be the value on the record as well. You can then choose to add tooltips as well, which will be a message for the user whenever they are referring to this particular field. Once you're done with your changes, you can go ahead and click on save layout. But what if you need to delete a particular field from Zoho Recruit? In that scenario, you can go ahead and click on the delete icon next to a given field. And when you delete a given field, it goes and falls into the unused field section. But keep in mind, the data within this particular field is still retained in the system, but it is only made invisible or rather it is disabled for all the users within the organization. However, if you choose to delete the field altogether from the unused field section as well, this will delete the field and the data completely from your Zoho Recruit account. So whenever a field is within the unused field section, you can always drag it and drop it back and that will still retain the data. But keep in mind, there are certain system default fields when it comes to a given module that cannot be customized or deleted as well. So in order to review which fields are not deleted, you can go ahead, hover your mouse over each of the fields and you can see that the delete icon is grayed out. Another example that we have when it comes to fields is the tabular field. Tabular fields are used to group similar information where there are multiple entries. So a very good example of a tabular field would be from the candidates module where we save education history and experience history. Because when it comes to education and experience, 
different candidates could have different number of entries available but the type of information that they save would be very similar so wherever there are n multiple entries involved for the same grouping of information you can create tabular fields and once you create a tabular field you can add sub fields to this particular tabular field based on specific predefined field types as well once you're done with all these changes in order to reflect this onto your zoho recruit account don't forget to click on save layout Next up, we have fields within module customization. Now, because the job openings module is linked to various job boards and career site, information flows through from Zoho Recruit through these various portals. So within the field section of the job opening module customization, you can determine whether a particular field needs to be made visible to candidates whenever they're going to apply for a job opening by enabling the required field. But keep in mind, there are certain system defined fields that are enabled by default. And again, there are certain number of fields that are disabled by default and cannot be enabled at all. That is because these particular fields are tied into system operations. But the other fields, you can always choose to enable them or disable them as required. And within the field permissions tab, you can determine for every single profile what the field permissions are going to be in terms of read and write, where a user can see the data within the field and edit it as well or in terms of read only where the user can only see the value within the field but cannot edit it and finally we have don't show where the value at the field itself will be hidden from that particular user profile within the tabular section you can review all the different tabular fields that have been added so if we were to navigate to the candidates module we can see the different tabular fields that are available and we can set up permissions for the tabular field as well for every single profile available on your Zoho Recruit account. Next up, we have layout rules. Layout rules allow you to manage fields and sections based on predefined criteria. So when you create a new layout rule, you give the layout rule a name and then you select the criteria as well. So the criteria is going to be based on a field. And once we go ahead and click on next, we can determine as a result of this condition being met, we can choose to combine additional conditions as well. And as a result of both these conditions being satisfied, we can trigger an action in terms of showing specific fields or sections or setting mandatory fields or showing specific attachment categories or mandating certain attachments. So these fields, when we mark as show fields, will only be visible when that particular criteria is satisfied. If the criteria is not satisfied, this field will no longer be visible at all. So these are layout rules. Next up, we have validation rules. Now within the validation rules section, you can verify the data that a particular user adds whenever they are creating or editing a particular record. So when you add a validation rule, you can first select the field based on which the validation rule needs to be executed and then whether this particular validation is going to happen based on a criteria or is it going to happen based on a custom script or in other words a function once you've determined your validation type you can go ahead and click on next and then you can determine your criteria and as a result of this particular criteria being met you can have an alert message so if an alert message pops up the user cannot save the record and you can also choose to change the criteria whether you want to execute this particular validation rule when the criteria is met or when the criteria is not met. Once you're done, you can go ahead and save your validation rule. Once a validation rule has been created, you can choose to activate it or deactivate it based on your preference. If it is deactivated, it will not be functioning within your Zoho Recruit account. Right after which we have links and buttons. So if you require your users to be able to navigate to a specific link from within the product itself, you can create various custom links. So when you add a link, you can give it a label, you can construct your URL. And if your URL has spaces where dynamic merge fields need to be placed, you can utilize merge field values as well. Once you're done, you can determine which profiles is this particular URL available for. And apart from this, you can also select the URL encoding. Once you go ahead and click on save, the next time a particular user accesses a specific record within the selected module, on the left bottom corner of the screen, they can review the various links that are available and the user can go ahead and click on the link 
and this will redirect them to the required web page. And then you have the option to create buttons as well. So buttons in Zohar Ekrod perform specific actions when you place them at various places within the system. So whenever you're creating a new button, you can determine where this button needs to be placed, whether it's on the create page or the edit page, details page or the list view of the module. And then you can determine what action does that particular button need to perform, whether you need to execute a custom function where you can create a function from scratch or whether you need to invoke a particular URL or if you need the user to be redirected to a specific web tab, you can select a web tab as well. Once you click on save, the button will be made available to users in the specific location that you have selected here. Apart from this, you can also choose to configure various tags or keywords that are accessible by the users. So you can add a repository of these tags within the tag section of a given module. And whenever you add a new tag, you can determine the color code for it as well. Once you're done, you can go ahead and click on save and this will become an available tag for your users. And in the job openings module, the final set is the skill set. So within the skill set section, you can add various skill sets that can be applicable for a given job opening. And within each skill set, you can add multiple skills and categorize them as either primary or secondary. If it is primary, it is going to be a mandatory keyword. And if it is secondary, it is going to be an optional keyword. Skill sets are usually utilized to track or find matching candidates for a selected job opening. Once you're done customizing your module, don't forget to save to reflect the changes onto your Zohar Recruit account. Apart from this, whenever you hover your mouse over a given module, you have the option to set MAD dependency fields. Right? So dependency fields are a little bit different from layout rules. Layout rules determine the visibility of a particular field or a section based on a particular field value. Whereas Dependency fields alter the options available in a drop-down field depending on another drop-down field. For example, whenever we try to create a new dependency field, we have to select the parent field, which is going to determine the values available in the child field. So once we select, we can then go ahead and select for each of the values in the parent field, what are the options that are going to be displayed to the user in the child field. Once we go ahead and save, the next time the user tries to create a record and selects the option as full time, only the options, communications, technology and government slash military will be available under the industry field. So this is a quick example of how dependency fields work. Once you're done, in the module customization section, you can go ahead and choose to create new modules from scratch where you can add various fields together. You can also choose to organize modules where you can hide various tabs from users as well. So any tab that is under the unselected tab section on the left panel will be hidden from users. And to make things easier for users, you can also choose to create various tab groups as well. Tab groups are nothing but a set of modules that a user can access. So whenever you create a tab group, you can determine what modules need to be categorized together and which profiles have access to this particular tab group. So once the tab group has been created, from the left top corner of the screen, under the three lined icon, users can access this tab group. And when we access the tab group, limited modules are going to be visible to the user. Users can always switch between various tab groups that they have available. And once we switch the tab groups, the screen automatically refreshes and this time, we see all the modules available on our Zoho Recruit account. And then within module customization, you can also choose to create various web tabs where specific modules will be available as intranet pages. So when you create a web tab, you can add a link that is embed compatible. That way, the link that is available will load up as a web page within Zoho Recruit itself without the need for the user to step out of Zoho Recruit. So if you have a web page that you would like to have directly available within Zoho Recruit, you can ensure that it is embed or iframe compatible, add the link in here, post which the users will be able to access the respective module as a web tab from within Zoho Recruit itself. 
and then we have attachment categories so whenever a document is uploaded against a given record you categorize it under a specific attachment category which makes it easier for recruiters to refer to so you can create various attachment categories for the modules within zoho recruit and when you click on add new all you have to do is add the category name and then determine whether this is mandatory or not so if you enable mandatory users will not be able to save a record without adding the respective attachment within the respective attachment category and within the note type section you can go ahead and add the different note types that your organization could potentially use whenever you're going to a particular record so for example if a user were to go to a record and to try to add a note they can select a specific note type so you can preload a list of note types available in the organization by going ahead and clicking on add and type in the note types that are applicable and once you click on save the newly added note type will be made available to users the next time they add a note you can also choose to delete or edit the existing note types on your zoho recruit account and a side note is that there are a couple of system default modules that cannot be customized because these are system default features for example the referrals module or the assessments module or the analytics module or my actions or to do's or documents so any module that doesn't have a hyperlink to it cannot be customized but the other modules can be customized apart from this you can also choose to set up the module permission from here where you can determine which profiles have access to this module you can also do this from your users and control section as well so this is module customization in zoho recruit